you know, I was watching C- CNN this morning, and it's not just what you see in the news, it's what they don't tell you. That's what's very important. In other words, if ever you feel as though you're getting something incomplete, going, wait, wait, hold on a second, what is the immunity? With that, like, with that story, what is the immunity if you already have the virus? Yeah. They'll never bring it up. No, They'll never matter, discuss next it. Story. It's a non-issue. Same thing with this doctor on CNN who I was watching this morning. Uh, doctor. Doctor Leanna Wen is her name. You've probably seen this crazy communist. Uh, I, and I don't have evidence for that, but if I had to bet, she's probably banging Eric Swalwell. A little hyperbole. <laughs> she's, um, mm. She said is an authoritative source on CNN. She's CNN's medical analyst and Washington Post contributing columnist. There you go. Communist. That'll get some. That'll get a nice seat on a board at a think tank. Here's her this morning, I believe. Talking we need about. to start looking at the choice to remain unvaccinated the same as we look at driving while intoxicated. Yeah, you have the option <laughs> to not get vaccinated if you want, but then you can't go out in public because when you go out in public, you have the potential of infecting other people with a potentially deadly disease. Just potential, like potential. you can choose to drink in private if you want, but if you get behind the wheel of a car and can endanger other people, there is an obligation by society to prevent you from doing that. Mm-hmm. So I, I think the what President Biden did today is exactly right to say that the vaccinated should not have to pay the price for the so-called choices of the unvaccinated anymore. So-called Although, choices. To your point, Chris, I definitely um, wished that he had also announced some type of proof of vaccination. Okay, good. Yeah. Remember, hey, remember, by the way, when they, they said uh, even Dr. Fauci, maybe someone can bring this up uh, from the control room because just like masks, he said, you're not going to be able to mandate people to get vaccinated. Yeah. He said, you know, if the people won't, you can't force them to. Right now saying this so-called choice. Um, you mean freedom? I mean, whenever I'm you unvaccinated, I tend to, you know, swerve all over, hit people on bikes, fight right. a cop. <laughs> Here's something else. The reason it's a bad analogy, you actually can drink at home and then drive. Yeah. Provided you can, you're yeah. not over the legal limit and you're not inebriated. People do it all the time. In some states, I don't know if it still is, but in some states, you could drink while in the car because the point wasn't, is there alcohol in the car? It's, are you inebriated? Does it harm your mental faculties? Yeah, are yeah. you unable to, uh, t- to make reactions in time? So it's not a valid comparison. No. Also, let's compare that risk to that of COVID. If you're well, making a risk assessment program, the whole thing here is this is always done under the guise of the greater good. She's saying, well, it's not really a choice because your decision affects me. Well, remember when people were told your decision to not be vaccinated doesn't affect the vaccine because the vaccinated can't catch it? Right. Yeah. That's what, that's what we were t- until the definition was changed. Well, plus, I've done some research and I do know the effects alcohol has on the body. Yes. Oh, so as opposed to the answers we're getting for the yeah. vaccine, you followed the science. He did I followed field, the science. He did field research. Yeah, yes. I did. I, yeah. I did a field sobriety research, yeah. <laughs> and then woke up in a field. <laughs> and here's something else too, just to give you an idea. This person who's a medical expert, and this is also why medical experts. First off, they may not necessarily be medical experts. Uh, I've done some yeah. research into Liana Wen here, and this is someone who's presented to you on CNN as unbiased. No, this is not. This is a <laughs> leftist activist, of course. Uh, my problem is not if you're left, if you're right. It's if you lie to me about it. She's dishonest about it. She's not forthcoming about it. And CNN certainly is not forthcoming about it. Uh, but let's assume that she was an unbiased doctor. Let's assume that Fauci was an unbiased doctor. That also doesn't make them constitutional lawyers. Right, yeah. This is, this is an issue that people need to understand is these people have a lane and their only lane, their only tool is a hammer, so they look at every problem as a nail. That's why you get to the point where the CDC says, we have the authority to uh, screw landlords and tell people they don't have to pay rent. Yeah. What? Why? A uh, public health crisis. But that's unconstitutional. That's a violation of my property rights. I don't know anything about that. I just know the vaccine. <laughs> and there's a lipid layer, the virus, the microbe. The point is, it's too scientific for you. Uh, we're going to take your property. Hmm. So she also said right here, case in point, that she claimed unvaccinated Americans actually, as far as she knows, don't have a right (gasps) to travel. But there's an even bigger reason, too, which is I think we really need to make it clear that there are privileges associated (laughs) with being an American, that if you wish to have these privileges, you need to get vaccinated. (laughs) Travel and having the right to travel in our state, it's not a constitutional right as far as I'm as far as I know to um, to to uh, to board a plane. And so saying that if you want to stay unvaccinated, that's your choice. But if you want to travel, you better go get that vaccine. Oh, well, it's funny that she should mention that uh, because there actually is a right to travel. 
Oh, really? Established what? for the 1999 Here. case, what? Signs versus Roe. A lot of Roes in these big cases. Yeah, what's up with all these Roes? Is this just Roe showing up at the Supreme Court like, <laughs> Roe, quit making it, quit showing up in our higher courts. The hell are you doing? Is that so weird? So the 1999 <laughs> case, Signs versus Roe, it includes the rights of citizens to move freely between states. Hmm. So she actually says, there's no right to that as far as I know. Okay, well, we've established now. All the sources are available, letterlcutter.com. You don't know. Yeah, it yeah. is a right, and this is the issue. When they say, well, no, we don't know about the rights, therefore they don't exist. Well, hold on a second, there actually is a right. Ah, la, 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 la. Hold on a second, wait, wait a second. The CDC doesn't have, the, that, those are private property rights. You can't force, you can't force yeah. a, a, someone who actually owns that property to, to have to allow someone to stay there rent-free for nine months. That's their property, that's a violation of actual property. I don't know what property rights are, ah, la, 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 la. And on CNN, it's good enough for everyone there. I think that was Chris Cuomo in that last one. It's like, there's no right to travel uh, in America, as far as I know. I was like, hmm, good point. Yeah, mm, nobody not, fuck that. <laughs> there's not one person to go, wrong. Well, you didn't have to do that, just hedge it and say, well, you know, I don't, I don't know if there is, but I, it kind of sounds like there might be because we can do it. So what are you saying? Every road that goes into another state has to have a checkpoint where you show your papers? Like, That's I'm vaccinated, I get to go through here, or I'm not vaccinated, I guess I got to turn this back. This conditional freedom is just disgusting. Well, it's too, there's a reason we don't put doctors in charge of everything. We said this at the very beginning right. of this. There's a reason that they advise the president, because the president has to take into consideration a ton of other things, like, I don't know, having an economy and a life. There's a reason you don't put doctors in charge of hospitals. Most of them aren't even employees. You know that? A lot of them are contractors. Oh, the doctors? Yeah, depending on the hospitals. You have business managers manage the privileges hospitals. privileges there, yeah. This is something, it doesn't mean that they know how to manage an economy. It's a constitutionally recognized right to travel. Yeah. And Dr. Leanna Wen, who's completely unbiased at CNN, says, not as far as I know. And she can't even be bothered just to run a quick Google search. Like when <laughs> Barack Obama or Joe Biden say 77 yeah. cents in the dollar, you're like, oh, well, that's been debunked by every single economist. That's why we know it's a lie. By the way, she's a completely honest uh, scientist cited by CNN who uh, just so happened to be the head of Planned Parenthood, just ah. so you know, mm. while we're talking about science. Hey, where does life begin? What is Planned Parenthood? Parenthood belief. If, if it's past the uh, the six week mark, do you have two hearts? What about when a lot of abortions are performed uh, in the second term? Does a woman have 20 fingers? Does a woman have 20 toes? Does a woman have a vagina and a penis if this happens to be in her body? Her body, her choice? Where I does that so. end? Planned Parenthood says, we don't care about the science anymore. It needs to be taxpayer funded, on demand, absolutely, period. And the really funny part about Leanna Wen is that in January of 2020, I don't want to assume that she's uh, carrying the water for the Chinese Communist Party oh, at this point. Yeah, she wrote yeah. this article. CNN, uh, just to be clear, Leanna Wen, YouTube, just so you don't autocorrect this, we have the source available, letterofcard.com, Baltimore Sun, wow. Leanna Wen wrote this, that the flu is more lethal than COVID <gasps> in 2020. Yes. When did she write that? She in wrote 2020. It in 2020. Yeah. I guess the oh. science changed. Yeah, maybe the Weird. science changed. That's fine. <laughs> but the That's Constitution doesn't. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.